Good morning, neighbors. On this sunny day, we're going to sing In You by Mercy Me. I put my hope in you. I lay my life in the palm of your hand. For I'm constantly drawn to you, O oh Lord, in ways I cannot comprehend. It's the Creator calling me created, a Maker beckoning the maid, the bride finding what she's always waited for, when we find ourselves that day. Where the hungry feeds at the table The blind frozen by colors in you The lame will dance the dance where they are able And the weary find rest Oh, the weary find rest in It's no secret that we don't belong here. Those set apart by the grace of you. We look for a day when we'll go to a place where the old becomes brand new. In you, where the hungry feast at the table, the blind frozen by colors in you, the lame will dance, they'll dance for they are able, and the weary find rest. Oh, the weary find rest in you Where the hungry feast at the table The blind frozen by colors in you The lame will dance, they'll dance for they are able And the weary find rest Weary find rest in you. Amen. It's a good song. And it's a different type of title. A lot of times you'll hear a Christian song, you hear the title, it's like, oh yeah, that, that kind of makes sense. But this one just it's just simply in you. And it's a really it's a thought that it's it's all within Christ and uh, and what he's done for us and uh, remember he said all things were given unto me by the father and uh, then he wants us to be his example in the world and it's just that two little letters in you know and throughout the scripture it says you know in you have to believe in something and it has to be inside you and so i didn't i had to kind of think well what what scripture should I use? Then I just look up here and it's going to be in Philippians, but Philippians even has, of course, it's I A N. But uh, in Philippians chapter 3 and verse 7, but what things were gained to me, these I have counted loss for Christ. Yet indeed, I also count all things loss for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish that I may gain Christ. And Paul, he was letting them know that everything in this life, it's passing. The scripture is where you actually find you can't take it with you. You are not. You brought nothing in this world, and it's certain you will take nothing out of it, unless your hope is in Christ. And that's why Paul is saying this 
but what things were gained to me that I have counted loss for Christ. You know, he's he remember Paul was an intelligent man. He uh, he was had been a Pharisee. He had, had power. He had a name. He had a reputation. And in this world, you know, that's the kind of oh, I have homes and I have lands. I have this, a vacation homes. I have all this money in the bank. And yet Paul, he said, you know what? Oh, I counted all his loss. You know, it's all these things I've worked and strived so hard for. They're lost for Christ. Remember, Jesus didn't have a place to lay his head. He was really counting on the kindness of followers and things like this to give him a place to rest, a place to sleep. Uh, and, you know, he had to take, kind of take care of himself many times. But Paul is saying, you know, all I count all these things lost for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord. You know, all these things I, you know, the intelligence and wisdom, all these things I thought I had, I realized it's nothing compared to the knowledge of knowing who Jesus Christ is and what he's done for me. Uh, so then he is willing, uh, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things. You know, I, I just laid all these other things aside, and he's actually really being persecuted in his time. Uh, and we look at Paul now like, oh, my goodness, Apostle Paul, he's an amazing man. Well, in his time, when he's preaching the truth, people didn't like him. And we have to look at ourselves sometimes. All the things that I'm listening to, uh, was it really what Jesus Christ taught? Is it what Paul really taught? Uh, if we're the most popular person in the room at all times, then you have to think, Jesus wasn't like this. It's like Francis Chan has said, you know, when everybody comes up to me and hugs me, tells me how wonderful I am and how my sermons are so amazing, he thinks, Lord, that's not what they were doing for Jesus. I have to take a long look at myself and say, you know, what am I sharing? And then in verse 9, And be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which is from God by faith. And uh, we need to be found in him, not having our own righteousness, our own good works and all these things. Though they are good, uh, it's, it's good to do good things. He said, realize my righteousness is as filthy rags. It is all due to what Jesus Christ has done, what he is doing through us and following him. It's by his example that we know how to do right from wrong. So Lord, help us and uh, let us be more like Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.